gon' pull up with them sticks and hop out with them choppers Walking out the tent in blue Balenciagas I caught her out, now I got blood on blue Balenciagas What it do, YouTube? My name's Bear Witness, and I hope you guys are having a good day, night, whenever you guys are watching this. So, you want to be like Kobe Bryant. Now, in this video, I feel like I have the archetype for you, but there's a couple of things that I want to go over before we get into it. First things first, this build is going to be exactly like Kobe Bryant when it comes to height and weight. But when it comes to wingspan, I searched all over the internet for a good, like, I'd say a good 45 minutes. And I could not, I could not find it. I could not find the, um, the actual wingspan, his actual wingspan. So, sadly, the wingspan is not accurate. But aside from that, pretty much, we're, we, we have pretty much everything else in, time, in, in tune so I with this build went with a pure shot creator and with that I want to explain that one this isn't prime Kobe now I feel like we can somehow make that build later on this year but for right now this is kind of my preferred build this is the one that I'm going to be using through most of 2k19 and trying to get to 99 overall like so one this build is one that i think is going to be dope especially if you guys are more into instead of just regular scoring whether it be just you know regular dunking or you know um just shooting the ball like you guys want a little bit of style to your game so you guys look for like fadeaways and step backs and hop jumpers and stuff like that this is the build for you guys it's got a healthy amount of dunking ability it's got a healthy amount of speed when it comes to you know just being there it's a good build for pro-am and park it's got a great scoring ability whether oh you're in twos or whether you're in 3v3s in the park it is just an all-around good build in my opinion and it's got the awesome potential at 99 overall to be an incredible build with tons of hall of fames to be added to the list of its already good amount of hall of fames already you have i if i remember correctly you have mid-range dead eye you have tireless score difficult shots and i think teardropper all on hall of fame and then you have tons of gold badges to go along with that along with some pretty keen shooting badges that allow you in later times to hit those corner threes a fadeaway corner threes. so that's going to be pretty awesome that's going to be something that you definitely want to have to look out for and like i said this build is going to be not only functional but it's going to be very fun to use so i'm going to show you guys all this stuff right now on how to make it uh, if you guys have to go backwards then you can but the cool thing about it is is i'm going to show you guys the attributes up here and i'm going to let you guys take part of what you guys will be able to do as soon as you get to um as soon as you get the game so if you guys were going to max out your characters this will be what you guys can do i think that best stat right now currently is the 86 overall mid-range but you know there is like i think an 84 overall at max um after cat breakers post fade away so that's pretty awesome you know you ha you're gonna have about an 80 dunking ability you're gonna have about an 80 three-point shot and this is all when you guys hit max so with this being said it's going to be one of the most all around like good builds like based on the fact that it's going to be pretty average at a certain things but the things that it's good at he's going to be really good at we're talking about plus i think i think that it's only going to stop at plus 10 because it's he's a pure but we're talking about plus 10 to your attributes so you guys can assume that once you do hit that 86 you don't even have to worry about it because as soon as you hit takeover, and that's the best part, all you have to do with takeover to get your takeover badge in this one, in this build, is score. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to break ankles. You don't have to do anything. You just score, and that's all you have to worry about. Scoring off the dribble. So you get a, you're good. You get your big man to set you a screen. You score off the dribble. You're straight. Now I've had a little bit of experience with this last year because I made a playmaking shot creator. This year I wanted to make a full-on shot creator because I saw the potential in it, and I really feel like this is going to be one of the best builds 
yet. So, one of the cooler things is the fact that, like I was elaborating on earlier, is the fact that when you get to this point of 86, say you maxed out your build today, say you, or not today, well, when the game drops, say you maxed out your build and you had that 86, as soon as you got into taker, takeover mode, you would have a 96 overall, like, uh, sorry, 96 overall mid-range, off dribble, open, contested, all 96 across the board that's 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 crazy if you really think about it because if you because i think it's like 40,000 vc so if you just took the time to get that you'd already be a little bit broken now also this is the, another primary attribute for shot creators playmakers and slashers is the fact that the primary uh, attribute one of the primary attributes is ball control so if you guys are worrying about not being able to speed boost on this character because naturally you wouldn't be able to speed boost off rip now later on you would be able to speed boost because it does get high enough not sure when you'd hit that but you don't have to worry like i said because as soon as you enter takeover mode you are allowed to have that plus 10 so you would immediately have that as long as you had about a 70 i think it's 76 if you had anything over a 76 you'd get the plus 10 and then you have your enough to speed boost so that's still a force to be reckoned with now the last and final thing about this build is that your the the amount of hall of fames and gold badges that are going to be upgraded late game is going to be absolutely insane it's got one of the most amounts of badges in the game and that we've seen uh provided they don't change anything uh, from now to the initial release of the game which i don't think they would it's highly unlikely but 2k has been uh, known to do some fuck shit so we don't know but as far as i'm concerned this is going to be my build and i hope that you guys enjoy it i tr like i said i try to make it as most like kobe because i like imitating players when i make my my players you know and i really felt like i hadn't done kobe before i've done you know in previous 2ks i've done lebron uh cat um who else did i do lebron cat Kawhi leonard was one that i tried to do as well uh kd is one that i tried to do in 2k17 so there's been a lot of builds that i've made over the years that have just kind of imitated other players and obviously we can't imitate players completely based on the fact that the game doesn't allow us to do that but this is the closest i could get to kobe bryant and i really do think that this is going to be one of the most overpowered builds that you guys are going to be able to create so what it is now time for it's time for you guys to tell me down in the comment section below what you guys are making because by now you guys have had to have known what you guys are making but if you don't guys don't you worry i have exactly what you need i have what you uh in the comment section below it is going to be a archetype kind of like a finder um what it allows you to do is compare three archetypes at once including their badges if they can and can't speed boost all of that it's on uh, I think it's my 2k wishlist.com so I'll be putting that in the description below hopefully you guys are going to be looking at that too if you guys are indecisive uh, on what build you guys want to make thank you guys so much for checking out the video thank you guys for all the support on my last couple of videos it's been absolutely awesome if you guys do like the video make sure you guys leave a like down below so we can get it out there so everybody can see this build and you know Everybody can have fun with it, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what the 2KME community should be about, is everybody having fun. And that's what I'm looking to when I give you these builds. I will have even more builds coming, guys, as soon as they pop into my head or something that might be relevant. If you guys have a build you guys want me to cover, make sure you guys leave it in the comment section below as well. Also, if you guys have not joined Bear Squad, make sure that you guys do that because we are going to be putting out the braziest content when it comes to 2K19 all year long. So I hope you guys join up and I will see you guys next time. Peace. I'm out of here.